How to Commission a Model JPLT Jockey Pump Controller Note, before commissioning the Jockey Pump Controller, please read pages 4 to 10 of the Installation and Maintenance Manual. Danger, Risk of Electrocution Do not attempt to install or perform maintenance on equipment while it is energized. Warning, this product can expose you to chemicals including DINP, lead and lead compounds, which are known to the state of California, to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. For more information go to www.p65warnings.ca.gov. Procedure Please ensure that the jockey pump controller has been installed and connected, pressure and electrical, as recommended. Warning, step 1 should be done with no incoming power when the controller door is required to be open. Step 1. Verify and adjust, if necessary, the motor overload setting on the OL1 by comparing the motor nameplate FLA against the motor overload setting from the factory. Warning, step 2 should be done with the door closed and latched. Turn power on to the controller by placing the main disconnect handle to the on position. Press the off button to make sure the motor is not running. Step 2. For three-phase applications, verify the motor rotation by bumping the motor. Use the hand button to start the motor and the off button to stop the motor. In case of incorrect rotation, Power off the controller and swap two wires at the load side of the contactor. Step 3. The controller automatically sets a 10 psi pressure difference between the cutout and cut-in value. Set the cutout pressure value. Press enter slash configuration button. Press down button to configuration. Press enter button. Press down button to cutout. Press enter button. Press up or down button to set the desired value. Press enter button. Press up button to configuration. Press enter button. Choose yes or no with up and down button to save the changes. Press enter button to return to the main screen. Step 4. Set the cut-in pressure value. Press enter slash configuration button. Press down button to configuration. Press enter button. Press down button to cut in. Press enter button. Press up or down button to set the desired value. Press enter button. Press up button to configuration. Press enter button. Choose yes or no with up and down button to save the changes. Press enter button to return to the main screen. Note, if on or off timer are required, watch steps 5 and 6. Timer values are in seconds. Step 5, set the timer on value. Press enter slash configuration button. Press down button to configuration. Press enter button. Press down button to timer on. Press enter button. Press up or down button to set the desired value. Press enter button. Press up button to configuration. Press enter button. Choose yes or no with up and down button to save the changes. Press enter button to return to the main screen. Step 6, set the timer off value. Press enter slash configuration button. Press down button to configuration. Press enter button. Press down button to timer off. Press enter button. Press up or down button to set the desired value. Press enter button. Press up button to configuration. Press enter button. Choose yes or no with up and down button to save the changes. Press enter button to return to the main screen. Simulation of on and off timers.
Step 7. If all settings are satisfactory, place the controller in automatic mode by pressing the auto button.